everybody. It's Eddie J on Crypto. Hope you're having a nice weekend. Gotta take a sip. Mm. Really nice Malbec from uh, Argentina. So, paying attention to everything that's going on. Last week was a really nice week, especially if you're playing, you know, peaks and valleys trading. If you're hodling, you had a really nice time seeing new numbers, new lows being met, right? But we're still kind of moving sideways, right? We're, st we're playing above the 22,000 mark, but we're not maintaining above that 23,417 line that I keep telling you about. If you go to your charts, you can use TradingView. No, they don't pay me, but I use it. If you go to TradingView, take a look at those charts, go to Bitcoin, and draw that line at 23,417 and look at the last time we hit. Look at the last time we maintained. It's a long time ago. When you look at that, it says that that is the next resistance point, And that's where we are. We get some strength and we pop above. We maintain just a little bit like we did over the past few days. And then we drop below again. And then we move sideways. We need the number to maintain above 23,417 because that was the previous low. We need to remain above and establish that as the new low, right? Haven't seen that yet. So we keep playing sideways. Am I upset that we're playing sideways on Bitcoin? Hells no. Here's why. It's just a, a chance to get in. Now, there are reasons why you buy Bitcoin, reasons why you buy Ethereum, why you buy other altcoins. I'm interested in Bitcoin because of its value, its stored value potential. And that is a big deal. Now, if you look at that and you look at everything else that's going on, you say to yourself, well, Bitcoin off of its new high, you know, before was like three times. It's like three X from where it is now. A little, little bit more, but I mean, a little bit less, but basically three X, right? When you pay attention to other altcoins, 8, 9, 10x off, and I'm talking about strong projects. So when I look forward, I'm looking at those altcoins as they move forward. And the reason why is because if I want to get in on Bitcoin, I can use the rise in those projects to flip that into Bitcoin and get more for it. Okay, so case in point. Shibirium, 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 sorry, Shiba Inu rose last week. Let me just look up the numbers real fast. Shiba Inu rose, it's at 1419 now. Of course, it's got five zeros in front of it or four zeros in front of it, but still, it's at 1419 now and it was at 15 six something over the past couple of days. Previous to that, it was at like 11. Previous to that, it was like 10. So I'm paying attention to that and I'm saying, well, wait a minute. Over the past seven days, it's been up 18%. When I look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin has been down 3.54%. So that number of days ago, had I bought Shiba Inu, held it, wait for a dip over there to play my rise on SHIB and play the dip on Bitcoin, I'd be getting more Bitcoin for my money, right? It's if you pay attention to or go teach yourself foreign exchange, it's how you trade different fiat or different currencies around the world against each other. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm paying attention to is what can I do with this if I want to get that? The trade value is going to be better. So I buy this a little while ago. I'm still significantly up. Bitcoin is now down. I flip that to go get Bitcoin and I'm up there again. Now, what I'm looking at going forward is that kind of a play. Again, paying attention to those coins, those projects that I believe in, that I've done my own research on and saying I'm going to buy into those because they've got a 10x rise and Bitcoin has like a 3x rise doesn't take much to do the math. 
Now I can buy into that and I can hold it. And again, I keep telling everybody I have different kinds of wallets. I have the kind of wallet where I'm holding and have the kind of wallet that I'm trading. Doing exactly what I'm talking about now. Using this coin to trade for another coin so I can make, make the difference. Doing things like spending. There are things that I'm doing with these wallets that I don't do with these wallets. These wallets, I dump it in and I leave it there. This is long term on my other wallets where I'm trading or buying or selling, uh, excuse me, otherwise using my crypto. That's what these wallets are for or addresses. Sorry, it's not really wallets or addresses. So that's what I'm looking for in the future. What am I looking at for the for the next coming week? More news out of Polygon, more news out of Shiba Inu, more news out of out of uh, XRP, more news out of Cardano and Polygon. Th th those are the ones. Am I looking for more news? Here are a couple of things that I am looking at. Arweave, Render, Phantom. Phantom, because Alec, because Andre Kanje's back, awesome developer. He's got his hand in the mix. They got some DeFi going on. They have a lot of stuff going on over at Phantom, and I expect them to rise again. Always was a strong project. There was some iffiness when he left. Now that he's back, I'm seeing I'm seeing solid ground there, right? I see I see more solid ground there than I do on Solana, even though Solana has been on a crazy parabolic rise. The only reason why is because from a technologist perspective, I just can't bring myself to trust Solana. In terms of what it can do, the speed at which it can do it, love it. In terms of other things that make me go, ah, I don't know. I might change my mind. A few guys on my staff are thinking about it and they're trying to get me to change my mind. And I'm paying, I'm listening. I'm at least listening. But are we with file, with file share permanence going forward? Um, other projects like render, sharing GPU, you know, renting GPU time, um, just things like that are making me stop and go, okay. Not only am I paying attention to those projects, but I'm paying attention to other projects that might be there. Because they rose parabolically does not necessarily mean that other projects will not. And it also doesn't mean that they're the best. Our weave to me is the best. I'm sorry, just, just saying. I did some research on that. Our weave is one of the best, is the best. And it's all also on my watch list. So I'm paying attention to a lot of different things. I'm paying attention to Doge and how Elon was talking about, you know, sharing revenue streams from Twitter with creators. You know, that's going to he's also talking about how they're integrating whispers are integrating crypto. That means that um, Bitcoin is going to be there. Ethereum is going to be there and most likely Doge. Again, there are two ways that you can go. I'm not talking about it because we're not going to do it. Chances are really slim there. The other one is I'm not talking about it because when I do, it's just going to explode Doge and give a lot of get a, give a lot of revenue to a lot of people. These are the things that I'm seriously paying attention to paying attention to over the next week. OK, definitely listening for more news out of Shibirium, more news out of Polygon, just deals that are being made, how it's being leveraged. The amount of staking with regard to DeFi total value lock is something I'm paying attention to with Polygon. Cardano, just in terms of the products that they have going on. DJ, was it DJ Led or, yeah, DJ Led, I think it is, their new stable coin. I'm paying attention to things like that because they make news and they make people make moves. If you're looking at the top 10, top 10, I pay attention to the top 250, but pay attention to what's going on and you might actually see yourself make some money anyway that's the sunday roundup i hope you have a great weekend and you know what here's to you eddie j on crypto bye bye